Okay, so I really am annoyed with people saying, hey, don't use CS money, they're shit, or all that other bullshit that they don't know what they're fucking talking about. They've just heard other people saying that before. And really, they don't know how to use CS money. First of all, let me just say, I fucking hate CS money. They are bullshit. They inflate their prices, and they're so expensive on everything that they sell. But there are times to use it, and the chances of them going out of business are very slim, especially since they already have a shit ton of skins, very rare skins, in their fucking inventory on all those little bots. So, we're going to, we're going to explain right now when are the times to use it and how to use it so to use cs money first of all this isn't something that you use to get profit if you're a trader you don't use it if you just want a nice skin here are some reasons why but other than that cool go fuck yourself go on skinport i don't care just listen to this Right now, before your stupid little minds can't help but argue back for some shit without even taking any slight bit of reasoning into their head or into your brain. So, check this out. I have an op graphite. Sure, I can just take that first one, doesn't matter. And I'm trying to sell it for a skin. I don't know what other skin, what, an Oni Taihi, whatever it is. Cool. Let's say I want that. Uh, let's see. Let's go on here. We'll put put up op graphite. So I can get a field tested around a field tested right now. Cool. So on here, we just duplicate this too. Go back. Type in Onitai. Field tested. Let's let's look at these prices and compare. Don't know why it's saying that. One eighty five, one seventy. They're fifteen dollars more, right? Cool. So I only tell you, field tested is fifteen dollars more in Steam Market than the Op Graphite. Now, am I? only going to base it off what i'm seeing right here no if i have some skins especially for instance what gloves are say gloves or a knife or a rare knife you're not going to base it off these because chances are it's going to take weeks months to sell it so what you're going to do is base it off the requests to buy because that's what you're going to instantly sell. So that gives me to my first reason. If you're impatient, want a new skin, already have an idea of what skin you want, that's your reason to use CS money. Now, the problem is they're overinflated. So what do you have? You have freaking top-up bonuses. 25% doesn't do shit. Because look, they're already inflated, probably over 25% anyways. So it doesn't fucking matter. Now... Looking at this, look at that. That's 23%. It's already inflated probably 25% plus another additional 23% for a user item, whatever that means. So the only reason why I could possibly see why you would even freaking use this site if you're depositing money is if they have their little deals going or if it's 40%. If you're gonna do it right now, then you better find a skin. And not all skins are marked up, by the way. Keep in mind these traders that are super against freaking cs money not all traders are marked or not all items are marked up the same exact percentage it all goes on supply and demand so if you're gonna talk shit about it please know which item they're talking about because for a while i could buy a fuel injector for the same amount as a steam market price field tested and battle scarred and i even actually made profit by paying 136 for a huntsman crimson web let's see and that was on cs money Let's see how much they're worth now on Steam Market. It was field tested. Look at that. 
Now take off the 15%. Boom. I made freaking $14 from that skin. And I bought it on CS Money. Now, granted, it's not like that anymore. But there are instances where you can find something similar to Steam Market Value. Or just slightly above. Another thing is you could do. Is if you're comparing it to Steam Market. Or if you're comparing it to another site. You gotta take in mind. How long it'll take to sell your item. So, for instance, what? A freaking, what is it? I have these POW gloves. And then I'll pull up some freaking Omega well worns. This is something I was looking at recently. Look at this Omega well worn. They're selling for around the same price as what people are posting them for. But on here, they're selling for around the price that's a buy order, that a request to buy is. So it depends on that as well. And if you're comparing it to this, that's even more. Wait, what is this? Sick. I, I sold that. All right, sweet. But it doesn't happen that fast. I had that thing posted up for like a good month, month and a half before it sold. But normally, if you're using that, it's either to freaking, because you're impatient, but you already know what you want. There's a 40% top-up bonus, and you already compared your Steam market prices to the CS money prices to make sure that it's within 40%. And if you're impatient about it too, and you're okay with taking like a $2 loss, cool. But the last thing is making sure you're comparing it to where people are buying it. If they're buying it more on the listings, then cool. If they're buying it more from the buy order or orders, make sure you're checking whatever number and make sure that you're freaking taking your 15% off if you chose to sell it on Steam Market later. Or maybe you look at the price on Skimport, see how much less you would get on Skimport and compare it from there. But another thing is, I could sell, let's see. I bought freaking... Battle Scarred Nox for 230 something. That's around the buy order price. Well, I was back over here, yeah. But people freaking weren't selling them for this low. Or maybe, no, they weren't. They were well worn. I bought them for 230 something. Yeah, so that makes a little bit more sense. Okay, so now look at what the price is. But the thing is, on CS Money, they were offering me $409 for those same gloves, for the same well worn Nox. That this person's charging 311 for they were going to pay me 409 dollars so make sure you're doing your percent up increase which is just the new number minus the original number and then take the whatever new number times 100 or whatever the fuck it is look it up it's on google you can do it from there and then figure out what the percent increase is on that and then check the item that you want see what the percent increase is on that as well Okay, so freaking, I paid 409. I had another item on here that was 409, for instance. My item was marked up. I don't know what that would be. Freaking, forget percent increase. Starting value 311, final value 409. 31% increase. Say the starting value was what? Fucking three, no, 290. Because it'd be less. 41% increase. Say the item that I want on here though is marked up 41% increase. Immediately, no, right there. Not worth it. Unless you're willing to take that because you're impatient and you know that it'll take a while to sell on Steam Market or to sell on Skimport, then I would do it. If you're trying to trade, or if you know it's going to be an investment anyways, and it's going to go up in price, for instance, uh, Panthera Anka. Oops. They're going to be overpriced already. But if you're good at math, you're going to know how much is it overpriced. And then you're going to check how long will it take to reach the profiting value or the break-even value. You wouldn't just freaking say, okay, this is a shit site automatically. No, unless you're fucking lazy. I don't care. If you're fucking lazy and you have the money, cool. But if you're trying to get rid of your skin that you have, 
that's worth the amount of the skin you want, then make sure that it's right. That's a reason to use fucking CS money. Don't fucking start talking shit about CS money. You don't fucking use it. You've probably used it before and still talk shit about it. And it just drives me crazy. All these freaking people out here saying, oh, that's, that's, uh, fucking, that sucks, man. Or like, wow, tragic, like, using CS money. First of all, you don't even know how to use CS money. You don't even know how to do math if you can't even freaking figure out a reason to use CS money. So that's why I'm making this video. For all those people that freaking want to talk shit about CS money because they're too lazy to actually look for reasons why to use it or how to use it. There you go. That's how you use it. That's how you check prices.